Okay, the last part of the experiment for ballistic pendulum. Lab is the projectile motion of the steel ball that we load into launcher and we set it to the long range. Carbon paper attached to white paper. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's go get the readings. So we got the previous two points that I crossed out and we have the two more fresh points and they correspond to uh, two meters and extra six or seven centimeters so 206 207 let's do the in-between results and uh, can find the pen. Two o five, two o six. Okay, the pen is right there. So for the horizontal range, long setting. We're going to write down 206 centimeters. And uh, that concludes the experimental part of the lab. Once again, using the first five pieces of information, the first uh, part for the mass, the geometry, and the angle of uh, declination. Using the conservation principle, the conservation of momentum and conservation of energy, you figure out the initial velocity of the ball. And then you have to confirm it with the same equations that you got from the projectile motion lab. You have the horizontal, oh, and the vertical coordinate. The vertical coordinate is missing. Let's do it. Right now, vertical um, initial position is starting from the floor and all the way to the launching position of the ball. We got We got 86, 86 centimeters for the initial vertical position. We're gonna need that data for the Y coordinate. 86 centimeters, be careful. It's a non-system international unit, and all the formulas in physics are designed for system international units. So, two experiments, same vertical component, but different horizontal component. You'll get two different values, 
and you'll compare those values to the values that you got from conservation principle.